Hi, my name's Paul Dubchul. My mates call me Dubby. I'm a filmmaker and a graphic designer and I love being creative. So I'm basically now in my parents' basement, which is my studio, and um, I've made many films, creative things, little videos down here. Um, I've got a good space to set up cameras, um, lighting rigs, little sets and stuff like that. I've even blown up stuff in here. Um, yeah, it's a great little area to work in, and like I've used it ever since I was just a little kid. And um, I still use it today. I'm using it right now. Um, most people that know me uh, know I have a massive, passionate love for Rage Against the Machine and their music. I love the music itself and I love the message and what the band stands for. They, they mean everything to me. They actually split up back in, uh, I think it was late 2000, and it was like a seven year split. And then they um, reformed for a one-off concert in the um, California desert, in Coachella. And um, myself and a, and a good mate of mine, um, Sam Print, got together and we actually flew over to um, America, to California, and we actually went out there to see Rage play their first concert in seven years. That was on April 29th, um, 2007. It was two days after my 23rd birthday and it was probably one of the most memorable experiences of my life. I actually lost my job over it, so <laughs> that's why I don't regret it. It meant way too much to me. So yeah, Rage is fucking best. They fucking rock my life. They're awesome. After seeing um, Rage play Coachella, we got news that Rage was going to continue playing shows and that they were going to come to Australia and do the Big Day Out tour through New Zealand and Australia. And um, I was quite inspired then just to personally start creating a mural artwork, which I still have downstairs. And um, it was a labour of love and that grew and I got onto the forums, the, the Rage Against the Machine forums and um, contacted uh, a lot of close friends through Facebook and MySpace and the Zach Della Rocker Network and also Vietnow.org and um, we all got together and a lot of people were very inspired and I ended up taking it to the Big Day Out organisers called Altered State and um, expressed to them my concept that I was going to make a mural that I thought we could at least have on display in the showgrounds at the Perth show so at least fans could just check it out and go, hey, that's cool, you know? you know. A fan that's quite keen on the band, it's really awesome, you know? Like, And a lot of people were so excited for this and we were thinking of um, getting donations and hopefully getting that money together and even selling it off for money for, for donations that we could put towards causes that Rage Against the Machine supports. Um, and it was all going ahead. I had Altered State, the organisers of Big Day Out, on board. But um, unfortunately, they pulled out two weeks before the show as one of the main organisers had um, resigned from the company and I was working through her. And um, after she had left, um, that was it. They didn't want to hear any more from me and they basically yeah, pulled out of... Um, letting me display my mural. You know, that, that got to me and that really, you know, fired me up because of how far I'd come to create something like that that created so much energy. It was awesome. Like at one point when they canceled on me, I actually went onto Facebook, MySpace, and all the, the Rage Against the Machine networks and put posts out and I said, I want everyone to send an angry email to Altered State ASAP and just tell them, honest from your heart what you feel about this mural and what it means to you and I think within half an hour I had the um, the main organizers of Altered State call me up and ask me to please tell whoever I've told to email them to stop because their servers got shut down and they had to get computer technicians in to uh, sort out their computers because they overloaded with too many emails so that was quite cool to see that so many people supported what I was fighting for you know, it was all just a piece of artwork, you know, that just expressed, you know, my passion and my love for my favourite band. 
I um, originally started studying um, film and television at Central TAFE in, in Aberdeen Street, Perth. Um, that was in 2002 and I graduated in 2004 as a director. I did a major as a director and I, um, yeah, I absolutely loved that course. That, that was so awesome, so creative. Um, unfortunately, I fell into doing a lot of labour work as soon as I'd left TAFE because the local industry in Perth isn't very strong. The film industry is not, not uh, a, a very um, productive industry within Perth. It's not, not very large at all. And um, it was quite hard for me to crack into that industry. So I ended up just doing a lot of um, private based projects and I got a lot of short film work. I got you know little bits of paid work here and there, but nothing really strong to keep me going as such. So I spent three years after I graduated working as a carpenter. And then um, two years after that, I was working for those two years as just a, a labourer for um, the family business at Bergtech. And um, I recently gave that up because I just felt five years pretty much of um, no focus on any real creativity was just getting to me and I, I needed to get back out there. So I've um, gotten back into uh, studies again and I'm actually doing graphic design. There's a lot more industry within Perth within graphic design as opposed to film. And I still feel like I can be creative and touch on those little um, creative interests that I get so I'm back in the game and I'm you know I'm almost completed my cert four and I'm probably going to go for one more year do a diploma and we'll see where I go from there but I'll keep being creative I'm always going to be creative you know whatever I do for the rest of my life I have to and I'll keep making films and uh, as a lot of you guys know I'm working on a production called uh, Dreads um, Tight Threads Oh, feral Heads and Tight Threads. I don't even know the name of my bloody film. But um, yeah, it's, it's a project that's evolving gradually. Um, we've got stuff happening. We've got statistics coming in from um, surveys that we're doing. And there will be something coming out quite soon, I hope. You know, and I'm, I'm working hard on it. And like, I promise you guys, it will happen. And um, I am working very hard at it. It's just all about finding time. So yeah. Um, God, I don't know if I've covered everything about myself, but um, I guess that's enough, you know, bloody hell, I've rambled on for quite a while now, so um, I think I'll leave it at that, you know, this is the first video blog for the Weird Sisters, and um, there will be a lot more coming, so stay tuned.